Good morning, Chris. How are you today? I'm, I'm doing fine. I'm doing fine. What about you? Good. Oh, it's good to see you. Uh, things are getting Thank cold here in Norway as winter wow. approaches. I guess things are still quite warm in Malawi. Yes, in Malawi, it's very hot, very hot. <laughs> Well, it is, uh, it's good to see you, my friend. You know, it was very exciting at Easter when we raised money for two more chicken coops. And yes. I believe you received that money now and you've been building them. How is the progress coming on the, these most recent two chicken coops? Yeah, for the last chicken coop, now we have completed constructing the club. And we are hopefully next week we'll be asking for the second phase so that we can, play, uh, we can place the chicks uh, for players and the layers as well. That's fantastic. So we're at the point now they're constructed and we can hopefully get the broilers and the layers, both kinds of chickens in next week. That quickly. Yes. yes. Fantastic. Now, how, when did we finish the first two chicken coops? How long have they been functioning? Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's almost now nine months. Okay. And how are they, how's it going? Do you have eggs being produced now? Yes, we have been selling the brothers, and now it's almost two weeks. We have just collected the eggs, and the normal per day we are collecting about 200 plus, plus eggs. Wow. Oh, that's yeah. great. We're very excited about this, and we're excited that we're able to do two more. Now, we're hoping to still help you build a couple more in the future. So you'll have six chicken coops, one for each of the six villages we're working with. Yes, yes that's fantastic. <laughs> Well, we're, we appreciate the work that you're doing. I know you've been very busy with two Bible schools now and leading your network of churches. Now, I was there, I think, about three years ago. Yes. And after we did that leadership training, a number of churches have been planted. How many church plants do you think we've had now since that training? Uh, I should appreciate Fresh Ministers International because you, you trained about uh, 200 pastors, and now, in total, the other additional churches being planted, there are about 200 churches. Wow, that's fantastic. Yes, yes. Just for your own information, the moment uh, I got a training from you, I was leading only three churches. And as of now, because of the training which you gave us, which you trained us, a single pastor now, I'm leading 30 churches in the city as well as in Mozambique. So we are really appreciating the work you did to, to Malawi. We'll never forget you. Oh, oh thank you, President. So exciting to hear. And I know that in that network of 30 plus churches you're leading, one of those is in the economic capital of Blantyre. But yes. now, uh, do you have any churches in the political capital in Lilongwe? Now we are planning to plant a church in Lilongwe by January, we'll be going there for church planting. Since members are there, they're just doing what we call a house church. They meet in a house, but we'll be going there for the official launching of the church in the capital city of Malawi, a long way. Oh, that's fantastic. Congratulations. Really excited to, to hear about that. Well, how can we be praying for you and for the ministry uh, there in Malawi? Uh, yeah. Overall, just uh, pray for the work we are doing here in Malawi. We are doing the work with the chicken coops. We are, work, we are working with the preschool children. We are working with people living with HIV and AIDS. We are, we are working uh, with uh, students whom uh, we are sponsoring at, at the universities. So just pray for us so that the, the favor of God should be upon us. God should lead us. And also just to thank God because we are at a free side of COVID-19. Just to thank God together with you. Yeah, hardly any cases in Malawi. That's very exciting too. Yes, yes. Okay, we're going to pray for all this. Also, is it time to plant crops again? Yes, it's time to plant crops. So we have just planted our crops. Okay, now last time we did, uh, about a year ago, we did training for how to do farming God's way. And you saw the crop, the, the harvest increase like 10 times, correct? Yes, and uh, this year, people, they are sustainably doing what uh, Farming Goddess Way did, and farmers, uh, they are following the uh, farming procedures which they got through the training, and we are believing God that the next harvesting season, we are going to see the triple, multi um, triple multiplication of pampa yields. 
Well, wonderful. We can be praying for that as well then, for the crops that are being planted now. Well, Chris, it's wonderful to see you. Thank you for spending some time with us, and we're going to pray for you now. So take care of yourself. Amen. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.